Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at the HD1 here, which is a brand new DMR radio. Um, I've just been sent it yesterday and I've spent a few hours playing about with it and so far I really like it. Now this video is not going to be a full review, it's just going to be a kind of introduction to the radio. I'm going to have a lot more videos about this radio coming out, so make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed, so that you get notified when all those videos come out. So let me introduce the radio. It's a dual band DMR radio. It does 10 watts on VHF and 8 watts on UHF. And it's actually quite different to any other DMR radio I've used so far, because it's not designed for commercial use, it's designed for amateur use and so it doesn't actually have the kind of you have to program in a channel style of working it actually has a frequency mode where you can just type in whichever frequency you want to talk on and hit transmit and go, that's how easy it is so let me give you a demonstration of that I'm going to program in the repeater that I always seem to program in in these videos which is 4391625 it's um, GB7NS and it's a DMR repeater so I've got it on DMR mode already but if I wanted to switch to FM mode then that's very easy to do as well all I have to do is hold the red button here and you can see that switch to FM so let's switch back to DMR mode and I'm going to go into the menu here going to go to band A settings because that's the one on the top so you can change the step, the power, vox, wide or narrow that's on analog channels only, the timeout timer which stops you talking for too long, CTCSS and DCS here the channel name, busy lock which stops you talking on top of other people shift up which is for repeaters so you would need to know whether it's a positive or negative shift and you can put in the shift frequency as well so I think for this one it's 9 megahertz so if we do that confirm then it will shift it 9 megahertz and that needs to be a minus shift the color code is 3 uh, we're not going to use encryption and it's a repeater so we have to select this onto repeater mode um, you also can select the slot here and you can also use promiscuous mode on this radio straight out of the box you don't have to put any new firmware onto it to do that um, you can select the radio ID that you'll be transmitting from so I'll explain that in a later video but you can use multiple IDs on this radio uh, you've got the transmit contact there as well and the group list so now that that's programmed in that's that's about it really, that's it, you're ready to talk so I could just key up the radio now and start talking on that repeater so you don't need to have a computer to actually program this radio you can do everything from the radio which is fantastic and it makes it a great radio for taking out into the field without a computer in places where you don't have a computer available so you can also switch between the two frequencies here by pressing the star button and if you only want one of them to be on then you can press the hash key and it will disable the other one and so it shows the time there and the date if you've not got that frequency in use uh, you can change to channel mode as well so it does still have a channel mode and you can program in your frequencies into that and it also has the ability to store a contacts list so you saw that that came up there now the signals not very good in this exact spot but it you can just see on the screen there it's it's looking up the user who is talking in the database and it's showing their call sign and their name and location on there for you so it's kind of like on the MD380 here where you could put the database on the radio um, but this is stock this is not in a custom firmware or anything this is in the proper manufacturers firmware and so the radio is actually designed specifically to work like this so the reason I'm not doing a proper review right now is because this firmware on it is quite an early version and it's still got some bugs and it's not got all of the features yet 
so at the moment it can't scan and it doesn't have zones but they are going to be adding that in a later firmware and if you're watching this video a few weeks after it's been uploaded then that's probably been done already so having the frequency mode on a radio like this is really quite useful and it reminds me of the old dual band radios like this one where you could just type in the frequency and use it straight away it's so much easier than on this type of radio where you had to program in the repeaters into separate channels before you could use them and that's really why I like this radio so far because it's just completely different to all the radios that are designed for commercial use it's quite refreshing to just be able to type in the frequency you want to use and start using it straight away so the cost of this radio at the moment is $180 have a look in the description for a link to where you can buy this radio and if you're watching this after this video has been uploaded a while after it's been uploaded then I am going to have a playlist full of videos about this radio so have a look for that playlist in the description as well so yeah that's it for this video uh, let's just sum up um, in this video I've introduced a new DMR dual band radio 10 watts on VHF 8 watts on UHF the cost at the time of making this video was $180 and make sure you subscribe to see the rest of the videos as they come out on this radio